Hi, my name is Lisa Cross Smith, and I'm going to be reading the first story from my new short story collection. The collection is called So We Can Glow, and the first story is called We Moons. We're not depressed all the time. Some of us aren't even depressed sometimes. We're okay, our hearts dusted with pink. When we cry in bathrooms together, it's about men or our mothers or our fathers or our bodies. We are resilient. None of us have attempted suicide, although we do at times imagine what it would be like to have never been born. Is that sadness? Is that regret? We love men. We are ashamed of this attraction. We, the ones who aren't lesbians or asexual, wish we were. We fantasize about lesbian communes or asexual communes. We take the curse of Genesis 3.16 to heart. Isn't it a curse to want a man? Didn't God intend that after the fall? We feel cursed. We are Eve. We develop crushes on men we'll never meet, men in magazines. We prefer our men to remain on screen where they cannot hurt us. We, protected by those alien beams of light, that space glass. We envision those men down on their knees before us, looking up at us, smiling. We pat their heads and call them good boys. We use them. We crave and desire them. We leave them whether they want us to or not. We wear their clothes because they smell like them, and we let the sleeves hang long past our wrists. We swear to one another we won't call or text them during our girls' weekend. We try to keep our word. We try really hard. They call us. They text us. They send us pictures of the flowers they'd have delivered to us if only they knew where we were. We are in the mountains or on a beach or at a grandmother's home. The grandmother has passed and left it to us, left us her journals and her cake recipes, left us the blankets and sweaters she knit, the quilts and tea-stained books she read when she was young, like us. We are not young, but we are younger than our grandmothers. We are young enough to still have our periods. We bleed together when the moons are death-dark and new, ovulate under the full ones. Their fierce, primal, ancient names connect us to the women who came before and all those who will come after. Wolf, snow, worm, pink, flower, strawberry, buck, sturgeon, harvest, hunters, beaver, cold. If we had been in charge of naming the moons, we wouldn't have changed a thing. Some of us are mothers. Some of us have miscarried. Some of us have no desire to bear children in our dark and starry wombs. Where do we go for emotional rescue? Where do we go to feel safe? Where do we go to escape the men who would rape and murder us, the men who would kidnap us, the men who would torture us, the men who would, the men who, the men? We are complete without them, but we want them anyway. We love them, but we want to hide from them. We drink champagne and wine and whiskeys and stay up too late smoking. We eat dark chocolate brownies and coconut cakes and wake up and fry eggs with butter and chilies. We lock our doors at night and keep our secrets. We howl at the moon and paint our toenails with glitter and make promises free before we leave. We return to our homes and our children and our jobs. We return to those men, the ones who keep us, the ones we are afraid of, the ones who would never harm us, the ones who protect us. We know they desire us. They are cursed with wanting to be inside of us. We are wild and cannot be tamed. They are cursed with wanting to tame us. They want us to be witches so they can burn us. They burn with lust for us. We use our own lust flames to fuel us and keep us warm. We are better at this than they are. We read and write our books, sing our songs, scream our screams, and fall easily into the arms of a God who loves us. We fight a God who loves us. We beg for forgiveness, for we know not what we do. We know what we are doing. We run away and want to be found. We want to disappear. We want to be seen. We search our breasts for lumps so our breasts won't kill us, our services for tumors. We scan our bodies for po poison, never knowing. We feed our babies with these bodies and offer our bodies to the men we desire and the men take and take and take and we give and give and give. We are handmaidens and helpmeets and neither of those things. We are created in the image of a God who can be both man or woman or neither. No empty vessels. We are achingly full, spilling over. And when we die, our souls pour out like water. Thank you.